I look like a little uh, mop head. <laughs> she a mop head. She a she a mop head. That's not even a real song. Whatever. Hello, hello, my name is Akos and welcome to my channel, Akos, where are you at? On this lovely Valentine's Day, I am recording, but probably won't post this until maybe the 20th of this month. But yes, I am going to record how long it takes to detangle my hair. I am finally taking down these little two braids it actually lasted much longer than I expected it to it's going on um, the end of two months now and I'm I'm actually really surprised of how long this little protective style lasted I actually thought I was gonna only have it for maybe two to three weeks but then as the weeks went by it wasn't looking bad at all it could actually go for another week or so but I'm gonna give it a break I also need a trim so I haven't straightened my natural hair for a very long time. I don't remember. I have to look through my videos to remember, but yes, I don't remember. All right, I am back. Braids are fully down now. If you can't tell, you you can probably tell by now, but the bottom, like the the root of my, <laughs> my hair, it needs a lot of detangling at the moment, so we will see how this turns out. This video is a collaboration. With Living With Shay again. This is our second collaboration video. The first one was our top five uh, favorite products. And then this one is trying to figure out just how long it's going to take us to detangle our manes. I am actually getting my hair washed and trimmed tomorrow at a salon that I've never been to before. Fingers crossed that it is a good salon. Oh, I keep looking down because my monitor is right here. And I'm trying to make sure that I am not out of focus because that's what's been happening a lot. But yes, I look like a little uh, mop head. <laughs> she a my head, she a she a my head. That's not even a real song, whatever. But yes, I will go ahead and get started and stop rambling and turn on the timer. I have my Netflix ready. I'm currently watching Love is Blind. I'll tell y'all about that a little bit more later while I detangle. But it's getting late, it's 7.05. Wow, am I really that old now? 7.05 and I'm saying it's getting late. But I also have to wake up super early because I also teach on the weekends. So I have to be up for my 5 a.m. class and then I'll go to the gym and then get ready to go to the hair salon. <laughs> I know nobody asked me what I was doing tomorrow, but just so you know, friends. It is now 7.06. Let's see how long this lasts. I am thinking maybe 25 minutes or so just because the roots of my hair are super thick right now but we'll see what I have in my bottle right now is water um, conditioner this conditioner is part of the Carol's daughter brand that I received recently I also did an unboxing video for that so if you haven't seen it make sure you check it out but yes I received this product free for review this is my first time using it but I'm using it to detangle my hair later on I'll do a review of it where I actually use it to wash my hair and all that but yes, I have their conditioner and then also their hair oil, their hair scalp oil in this bottle. So I'll be using that and then my Felicia Leatherwood brush. Y'all know I love this brush. And then this super wide comb to get all the roots up in there. And then I couldn't find any clips except for this one. So I have one clip. You do what you do. <laughs> this is not like a how-to tutorial. So if you got more clips, go ahead. That's probably smarter start okay I'm gonna go ahead and spray my roots to get them to loosen up a bit like they are so matted down right now and y'all sorry but the TV is gonna be a little loud 
because I'm trying to really keep up with this show. Like I said earlier, the show is called Love is Blind. It's actually really good. It's on Netflix. Um, if you've seen The Circle before, The Circle is a social experiment where people live in little apartments. They don't see each other. They don't know what each other look like. They just communicate on like a social media app type of thing. And well, they, they have pictures, but they don't necessarily know if the person is a catfish or not. And they just communicate through, through the circle. So that's like a, a social experiment type of show. And then this one, Love is Blind, seems like it came from that. But Love is Blind is like a the similar type of show where the couples don't, this one, they don't know what they look like at all. They don't know what each other looks like. They're sitting in like two pods. And in those pods, they just talk to each other from across, like across from each other. So they know what they sound like. They just don't know what they look like. I will split this up into fours to make it just a little bit easier to manage. And I'll be working on this side first. So let's clip this away. But yeah, they have no clue what the other person looks like. So it's based off of their conversation and basically a blind date. But there are several women and several men, and they go to each uh, each pod to speak with each one of them. The twist that I'm very iffy about with this show is that the end result is supposed to equal to marriage. That's the way when I was a very young girl. Like they're supposed to <laughs> get engaged and. I'm on the third episode and one of the couples are already engaged. It's 34 days of this experiment, I think. Day six, I believe, the guy asked the girl to marry her and I'm like, what is going on? I mean, you can really tell that they're compatible. Oh, I guess I should say spoiler alert. <laughs> it's too late, too late. But yes, uh, you can tell that they're compatible, but it all just seems like it's moving so quick to me. It just seems like it's moving too fast. But you can tell that they're really compatible. They're really cute together and all that. But they finally saw each other for the first time. And the good thing is they're both cute and they both think that each other are cute. So hopefully it all works out for them. But we will get to see their lives as they get to know each other but at the moment most of the shows that I'm watching on Netflix I need it to be like light and fluffy because I get home super late I'm always tired I need to do like a day in the life of type of video but I wake up so early that I just don't have the energy to want to record that I'm up by 4 30 a.m. at the latest so I can't even think about having to set up a camera or anything that early in the morning so I need shows that are light and fluffy and easy to watch and I can easily fall asleep on them but when I wake up it still kind of makes sense <laughs> to me like I could skip episodes and still come back to it right now it's a lot of crying on this show I like that they're really being forced to speak to talk that's that's part of the problem with the dating world now but they're being forced to talk to each other without looking at each other without pre-stalking Instagrams not that I do that not that I do that, but they can't like stalk each other and see what the other person is doing. It's not like a quick microwavable type of thing, instant type of thing. It's not like that. Like with the um, with the different apps and things like that, they say one wrong thing and you just swipe to somebody else. And you going about <laughs> you going with your life you just wait for someone else and I, I feel like that's so tiring so I basically just giving up <laughs> I feel like that's just so tiring
actually not that bad at all. I was hoping for 25 minutes, but in the back of my head, I knew better. I mean, I do this all the time. I knew, I knew better. But yes, it took me 33 minutes to detangle my hair. This is the amount of shed hair that I have. This is like enough shed hair to create an Afro Barbie doll. But again, I was expecting this. Because as I told you, I haven't I haven't detangled my hair in a while. I went from braids, had like a few weeks in between, went to a sew-in, had a few weeks in between, and then I got this style after that. So yeah, yeah, I was expecting all this shit hair. I am wondering how long you actually think it will take for you to detangle your hair, or if you've ever timed yourself too, just how long it took you to detangle your hair. So drop some comments down below about all the random stuff that I just talked about. Uh, your favorite Netflix show or show that you're watching right now that you would like to recommend, drop it in the comments below. And then also make sure you go check out Living With Shay and let's see how long it took her to detangle her hair, okay? So I will see y'all next time. If you are not subscribed already, please, please, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to being on camera <laughs> again, I guess. I was going to say I look forward to seeing you again, but I don't really see y'all like that. So. Um, this video, in case I did not mention already, it is a cat. Look, a cat what? Cut. Share and subscribe. Let all of your friends know to come check out my videos. I have tons of videos on this channel, so please check it out. And thank you for watching. I usually post every Tuesday by 3 p.m. if life doesn't get in the way. If it does, then it's just going to be extended. But if not, I usually post on time every Tuesday. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started. Sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.